This is construction number 10. Given a triangle, construct a circle circumscribed about the triangle. So we'll start with a triangle. And, you know, I don't advise doing, you know, equilateral or isosceles triangles. It just, as you do the work, the construction markings have too many coincidental happenings. And so you want to make sure that you choose probably a scalene triangle. This is even almost isosceles, but at least a scalene triangle would be a good thing to do. So now what we're going to do is we're going to construct a circle on the outside. So what we want to do is find the circumcenter of this triangle. In order to find the circumcenter, we're going to do two segment bisectors. So I'm going to call this triangle ABC. And the first thing I'm going to do is construct the segment bisector for segment AB. So taking my compass and putting it on point B, I'm going to choose something that's a little bit more than halfway. I'm just going to go with 50. I think that'll work just fine. And then I'm going to go back over to point A. And using 50, I can now construct a perpendicular bisector of segment AB. So I put that on there. Notice I put the pen down first and then I slide the ruler up against it. That way my pen will actually be where it needs to be when I'm making these perpendicular bisectors. Now I'm going to choose another segment. It doesn't matter which one. I'll choose segment BC because I think I can do that one without getting in my way of the other one. So taking BC, I think I'll choose, um, looks like 40 would be fine. So I'm going to choose 40. And I'm always saying my, my measurements out loud to myself. If you were, if I, even if I wasn't recording this, I'd be saying it out loud because I tend to forget if I don't. Okay. And so there are my two intersections for 40 millimeter radi radius. Oops. So obviously we're only going to consider the straight line. And what we want to locate is their intersection. Here's the point of intersection right here. I'm going to call it O because this is going to end up being the center of my circle. Um, before I draw my circle, I'm going to actually go from point O and I'm going to physically measure with my protractor. I mean my ruler. That's about 4.5 centimeters. I'm going to check and see what it is to be. Hey, look at that. That's about 4.5 centimeters. And from point A, it should be the same. 4.5. Um, since you've constructed a circumcenter by doing two segment bisectors, <clears throat> this point is now equidistant from all three corners of your triangle. If I were to do a segment bisector on point AC, it would also cross at this exact point. So you could do all three if you wanted to, but that's just extra marks on your paper. Instead, now I'm going to put my center on point O, and I know that that was four and a half centimeters, so that's 45 millimeters, and there it is right there. So using 45 millimeters, I'm now going to draw my circle all the way around, hopefully. Okay, and of course there's a little bit of slippage. It looks like I might have been better off if I had chosen one more measurement out. So that's a shame, but and maybe I counted wrong. 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, I think I should have used 46. Let's just see. If I do 46 millimeters, does that end up being better? Yeah, that ended up being a lot better. So it takes a little bit of practice, but um, <clears throat> I think you can see the difference here between the first one and the second one. The second one's really right on, and the first one was a little bit off. Sorry about the blurred image there, but um, that's how you do it. And it takes a little bit of practice, so trying more than once is probably going to make it a more accurate construction for you.